Hello everyone and welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a unique card with an effect that reviews more content on Hoover. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to have something that looks like this. So as you can see, when you hover, it reviews more content. And the good thing about this is it's you can make it responsive on all devices and we can test that out on our simulator. As you can see for the uh, laptop and then we can also go down to the iPhone for mobile phones and then check it as well so you can see the effect also works on mobile phone we'll come over to the tablet and check it and it works well on tablet as well so without further delay let's dive in and get started okay so in our elemental editing screen the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a structure now just click on this and then this is the structure we're going to add here now on this container here what we're going to do is we're going to give it a minimal height to vh100 set it to vh100 and then for the justify content to set it to the center align items to set it to the center okay now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the style option and then we're going to change the background type to color black okay now that we've done that, we're now going to go to the advanced settings and then we're going to give this padding of 100 pixels all around and then unlink this to the left to change it to 20 pixels, to the right to change it to 20 pixels as well. Okay, so now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over here and delete this last container here. So we'll have three containers. Now for the first container here, we're going to change this width from 25% to 30%. Okay, and then we're just going to copy it and then apply the same 30% to all the other containers like so okay now I'm just going to turn on my navigator and then I'm going to rename this to the parent to parent and then I'm going to rename this to first first container then I'm going to rename this to second I'm going to rename this to third okay now for the first container here what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the style option here under the style option I'm going to give it a background color of white white and then we're going to come over to the border and give it a border radius of 30 pixels all around okay sorry 20 pixels let's make it 20 pixels 30 is too much yeah 20 pixels okay okay now that i've done that the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to click on this release key icon here and i'm going to drag a container into it now for this container here i'm going to come over here to the advanced settings for the container and then i'm going to give it a padding of 30 pixel, 30 pixel, 30 pixel, and then leave it at zero to the top. Okay, now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here and then drag an image widget to it. Okay, for this image widget, we'll come over to the style option and for the width, we're going to change the unit to pixel and then give it a width of 300 pixel. And then for the height, we're going to give it a height of 150 pixel. And object fit, we're going to set it to cover. Okay, then we'll come over to the border radius and then we're going to give it a border radius of 20 pixels all around. Okay, now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over here and we're going to drag a, a heading widget. So this widget, we're going to drag it and drop it right below it. Okay, and then we're going to change the text here to, let's say, feature, feature 1. And then we'll go to the style option and change the background, the color, the font color to black and then align item to the center so we'll have something like this and then what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to the image and then we'll go to the advanced settings now for the margin we're going to unlink this and give it a margin of minus 40 pixel to the top okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and drag a container drop it right below this feature one now in this container here we're going to add a text editor to it and then for the text editor, we'll go to the style option and align it to the center. And then we'll come over here and drag a button as well. And drop it here. Now for this button here, we're going to align the button to the center. And then we're going to change the size to medium. And we'll go to the style option and tweak it a little bit. Give it a background of somewhat red. And then for the hover, we're going to change the hover background to something like this so we'll have something like this okay so now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do we'll go to the advanced settings for this and then for the padding we're going to 
I'll link this and we'll give it a padding of 10 pixels to the left, 10 to the right, and then we're going to give it 15 to the top. And then for the margin, we're going to give the margin of um, to the bottom, we're going to give it minus 30 pixels to the bottom. So we'll have something like that. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we'll come over to the width. Now for the width, we're going to give cost, set it to custom width and then give it a width of 55%. And then for align item, we're going to align item self, align self to uh, the center. So we'll have something like that. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over. Let's just toggle this and then come over to the background. Now for the background, we're going to set the background type to classic and then color, background color, we're going to set it to black. So we'll have something like that. And after that, we'll come over to the border. And then for the border radius, we're going to unlink this and then give it a border to the top, 20 pixel to the right, 20 pixel. So we'll have something like that. Now our card is coming into shape. So we can see what we have here. This is what we have here. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over to our container here. And then for this container here, we're going to go to the advanced settings and then we're going to give it a class, a CSS class of code hidden. And then we're going to come over to the image. Now for the image, we'll go to the advanced settings and then we'll give it a Z index of 5. And then we're going to give it CSS class of picture. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a CSS to this container here. We're going to add our CSS code to this container here. So to do so, I'm just going to head over to my Atom code editor and then I'm going to draw, copy the code here. Mind you, this code will be available on the comment section. So to so get this code for free, you see it in the comment section of this video. So we'll now head back and then under the advanced settings, we'll come over here to the custom CSS. Mind you, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. So if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, there's a link in the description of this video where you can get the Elementor Pro plugin. Okay, now we'll add it. As you can see, everything. This looks wonderful. You can see our feature is now here. So now the next thing we're going to do, let's head over to this image here. Let's go over to this image here, and then let's change the content. Let's give. Let's change the image. Okay, let's select. Let's say this, and then. Okay, now we have something like this. So you can see this is it. This is our feature. All right, so now let's try to see how it looks on mobile. But before then, let us go to this parent container here. For the parent container, let's come over to the layout and come over to the gaps and then give it a gap of 20 pixel, 20 pixel all around. So we'll have something like that. Okay, so now let's come to the responsive mode and see what it looks like okay doesn't look well so now for this we're going to still work on the parent container here and then we're going to give it a wrap of we're going to wrap it okay so now and we've done that the next thing we're going to do we're going to come over to this container here this first box container here and that and then we're going to come over to the layout and change the width then we're going to increase the width to 45%. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do you're going to check it on mobile device and see what it looks like on mobile. Okay, it looks perfect on mobile. All right, so we can see that the button doesn't look nice. So we're going to fix that by just editing the button and then we'll come over here to the advanced settings for the button. Now for the custom width, we're going to change the width unit from pixel, pixel to uh, percentage and then we're just going to give it a a width of 65% and then let's check it out and see yeah everything now looks looks wonderful and the next thing we're going to do is we just go exit this responsive mode settings and then we're just going to duplicate it what we're going to do next is we're just going to delete um, duplicate this and then we delete this and then we delete this as well and then we duplicate it again duplicate it again and then toggle this and then we can see everything now looks well this looks well this looks well okay now that we are we are certain that everything looks well on the on the pc now let's check for tablet mode and try to make our work responsive okay we can see now that this doesn't look nice so to do so we're just going to edit the 
our parent container let's bring back our so i did the parent container we're editing the parent container now and then for that we're just going to come over here to the gap now for the gap we're just going to unlink this and then for the row we're going to set the row to 100 pixel and then for the column we're going to set the column to 40 pixel like so so now we can see that everything looks well okay except for the the button so we're just going to edit the button and then we're going to increase the column width the custom width we're going to increase it to 65 as well okay and now well, let's set it to 60 and see all right it looks well on 60 uh we're just going to copy this then come over here uh, under the button we're just going to paste style so and do the same here gonna paste that here as well now the, everything for the tablet looks wonderful so the next thing we're going to do now is to come to the uh, mobile and see let's check it for the mobile everything looks well on the mobile everything looks well on the mobile we can just do some minor tweaking for the heading reduce the, the font size to uh, the heading font size to 16 pixel or let's say 20 pixel uh -huh, 20 pixel yeah and we're just gonna copy it and come over here and do the same here paste style and then come over here and do the same here paste style okay. Okay, now that we're done on uh, design, our card looks well on mobile, tablet, and also on PC. So the last thing we're going to do is just going to change the various images, and then like this, we're just going to change this one to something else. Anything. Uh, this. And change it to something like that. And then for this other one as well, we're going to do the same, change the image. So many other images we'll have here, uh, something like this. Okay, so now that we've done this uh, and everything now looks fine, the next thing we're going to do is just change this from future one, change this to future two. Uh, we're going to change this one to future three. Change it to future three as well, so we now have something like this like this and like this everything now looks wonderful so we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you're new to our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when i drop a new video and if you have any questions suggestions you can always drop it on the comment and i will do so to reply as much as i can but until then see you on our next video Bye bye